Okay, so the physician, which the patient's argument is flawed because it fails to consider something. All right, so the patient is being, his argument is false because it fails to consider, fails to consider. All right, so what is the physician? What's the argument? The physician, the hormone. M has shown promise as a medication for sleep disorders when taken in synthesized format. Mm, that's pretty good. It's some kind of synthesis format and shown some sleep disorder. Okay, that's great. Because the long-term effect of this mel of the synthetic M is unknown, however, I cannot recommend its use. Okay, that seems legitimate. If it if you don't know the long-term effects, you don't know what's going on long term, then maybe it is a problem. And, um, you know, it's a medication. Um, it, it may help in the short term, but maybe in the long term, you don't know. And that's why the physician cannot recommend it. I think that seems legitimate. You take it in this form. Huh. The patient. Your position is inconsistent with your usual practice. Mm. You prescribe many medications that you know that have serious side effects. So concern about side effects cannot be the real reason you will not prescribe melatonin. Okay, so then, then maybe if you take other prescriptions and the, those two have side effects, serious one, and you're prescribing those. So why is it not a problem why is it not a problem in those cases could you prescribe it maybe an advil it can be something like an advil or something and advil also can you know have effects like it it, um, it dilutes your blood for example it makes it thinner so anyway so all of these things can happen so what's going on well why so why is this argument by the patient flawed? I'm just pre-thinking a little bit. Maybe it's because the government has stepped in as well. Maybe it's maybe maybe the percentage that it's likely going to happen in the long term is high. You know, maybe if you take an Advil or the other ones, it's not the the probability is very low, whereas maybe the probability of a long term effect happening is very high in the case of melatonin in the Synthetic forms, that's what I'm looking for, something along those lines. All right, so the side effects of may be different from those of so what, I don't care. It is possible that the physician does not believe that Mel has been conclusively shown to be effective. I don't, I don't, I don't. I think this is wrong because I don't think it's, if I, I don't think this has anything to do with the patient's response. I mean, this is telling me about why the physician might not do something, but I'm trying to get a reason as to why the patient specifically is why is the patient's argument wrong? I don't think B tells me why the patient's argument is wrong specifically. So that's why sleep if if the left on tree might lead to serious medical complications. Okay, that's 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 a problem, but why is the patient's argument wrong? And the argument is, well, you're doing it for other drugs. You're giving Advil, for example, that has a lot of side effects. Um, but why aren't you giving melatonin? Even though it hurts some, even though it could have. Because the long-term side effects are unknown. The side effects, they can take some time to manifest themselves. Yeah, I think this may be it because you know what the side effects are when it comes if you prescribe an Advil. Whereas in this case, you don't even know what the side effects are. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is, oh yeah, yeah. So this could, known risk can be weighed against known benefits, but unknown risk cannot. I think E is better. Known risk can be weighed against known benefits. Yeah, I think E is better because 
why is D not correct? I think it's because in the case, what is the art? The patient is saying, listen, if you were to prescribe an Advil, you know what the problems are in the long term, like thinning of blood, yet you still do it. Why can't you do it here? I think one issue is that we don't even know what the side effects are. Whereas maybe in the case of Advil, we do know the side effects. Known risk can be weighed against known benefits, but unknown risk cannot. Maybe D is better actually, because we don't even know what the side effects are. But I think inherent in D is that you should also be, if you ever, let's say you even knew what the side effects were, you need to compare it. I think the word probability is missing from any of these options. So, I have, so it's between D and E, just not sure. Let me try to repeat what, what is it that's going through my head maybe. Really. Well, it fails to consider something. The patient's argument fails to consider. I don't think when the patient is responding, First and foremost, the physician is saying, listen, the physician is argument is, I don't know the side effects, the long-term side effects, the long-term side effects. Patient is responding, well, you know it for Advil and you still give it. So concern about side effects. So concern about side effects is wrong. That would be the reason. I think the patient has slightly changed the argument. I think the argument for the physician is, well, I don't even know what the problems are. Forget weighing the problems versus the intended benefits. Whereas patient is talking about you, you know the benefits and you still give it. I think D is better because D is saying that, well, you don't even know what the side effects are. Oh, no, 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 no. The patient fails to consider that the side effects may take some time. I, I don't think that's, I don't think the patient is failing to consider what the side effects taking some time are. I think in that case, E is the best answer. At this point, I would go with E. I, I still think E has its problems. Can, known risk can be weighed against known benefits, but unknown risk cannot. Yeah, I think E is better.